Psalm 45, New American Standard Version. My heart is moved with a good theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. You are the most handsome of the sons of mankind. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword on your thigh, mighty one. In your splendour and majesty, and in your majesty, ride on victoriously. For the cause of truth, humility and righteousness, let your right hand teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp, the people fall under you. Your arrows are in the heart of the king's enemies. Your throne, God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy above your companions. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes and cassia. From ivory palaces, stringed instruments have made you joyful. King's daughters are among your noble women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of from Ophir. Listen, daughters, look and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. Then the king will crave your beauty because he is your lord. Bow down to him. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. The wealthy among the people will seek your favour. The king's daughter is all with glorious within. Her clothing is interwoven with gold. She will be brought, brought to the king in colourful garments. The virgins, her companions who follow her, will be brought to you. They will be brought with joy and rejoicing. They will enter into the king's palace. In place of your fathers will be your sons. You shall make them princes in all the earth. I will make your name known among all generations. Therefore the people will praise you forever and ever.